So when I'm lining up a kick, um, there's two or three things that, that I'm thinking about. So before um, I start my kicking practice, I like to get the body ready uh, by foam rolling. So we look to, to foam roll each part of the body. It helps promote blood flow to the muscle uh, and generally loosens up the, the muscles ready to, to practice. Looking at about 20 seconds to 30 seconds on each. Just maybe some uh, like hip flexor stuff. Just looking to stretch the flexor muscle, contracting the glute, not looking to, to arch back, looking to have your, your pelvis sending that down just so that you get to isolate the hip flexor. Yeah, it's just getting that full, full stretch. So just looking at uh, ball placement on the, on the tee, we're looking at aligning uh, the seam towards, for me, uh, being a right for the kicker. Just looking to align the, the seam to the right hand post. I tend to just draw it in a fraction, so just by offsetting the seam uh, off middle allows for that, that draw then. So as we're coming into the ball, first we look at foot placement of the plant foot. Just looking to be both shoulder width apart, away from the ball, and the plant foot being up alongside the ball. Uh, we don't want it back because then by the time you've, you've made contact with the, with the ball, it just allows for a little bit of rotation. Whereas if you're up alongside, by the time you've made contact, you're bringing your legs straight, straight through the ball. So just looking at the, the strike of the ball, um, we're looking to be in this sort of position, plant foot up alongside, and your kick in foot coming through the shape we want to be in is his foot to be to be flat, almost like like this, not not up like that, but be more flatter. That just allows um, for more of a surface area to connect with with the ball. Once you've made contact with the ball, you're looking to to really take your weight through through the ball, not stopping. So not stopping because once you stop, you tend to have that rotation. Whereas if you're coming into the ball and and you're taking your weight through the ball. That just allows that ball to, to go on the line that you want it, rather than, than pulling it to the left. So when I'm lining up a kick, um, there's two or three things that, that I'm thinking about and concentrating on to allow me to try and make the kick successful. So when I'm standing back here, um, I'm just thinking about when I run up to the ball that I'm, I pick my line to the ball and I go straight on that line. As I'm coming into, the, I'm thinking about going straight to the ball, and then once I once I'm in this position here, I'm thinking to myself, I, I need to I need to be up tall, not too hunched, because then you don't really get much leg swing through. Whereas being up, you have a lot more range, so a lot more power. That's one thing I'm thinking about here, right here, and then the second is as I'm making contact with the ball that I'm taking my weight right through the ball. That's where you get your power, that's where you get your accuracy uh, by getting through the ball beyond the tee uh, so the kick goes where you, where you want it to go.